Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. In the Gospel of John, very familiar passage of scripture, um, the 11th chapter, I want to read in your hearing verse 40. Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? God. I came to declare to you tonight, the glory is on the way. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for the hope that you give us. Thank you for the power that you possess, God, for you're able to turn any situation around because you are God Almighty. You alone deserve the glory and that I give you tonight, Lord. Oh, Father God, we love you and we thank you for all that you have done in our life and all all that you shall do father because yes we believe that you can do all things so father i pray you anoint me to speak your word tonight god let it go forth in clarity may you be glorified and may your people be edified in the matchless name of jesus i pray amen hallelujah there's an excitement in the atmosphere i don't know if you could feel it but there is an excitement you know and it's resonating from many different pulpits hallelujah the men of god are proclaiming the word of God, proclaiming that God is getting ready to turn things around. Hallelujah. And God also has been speaking to me this week about the glory, the glory of God. You know, when situations are so dire that only God can fix it in that way, you know what? He gets all of the glory. And I believe again that God is getting ready to do the miraculous for his people. See, we are not forsaken, neither has God forgotten us but you know we are loved by God Almighty we have suffered yet we still believe therefore the glory I declare to you is on the way you know a time again when only God can fix it and there and that you know would allow him to get all the glory to get all of the praise see Mary and Martha's and Lazarus situation was so dire Lazarus was dead and couldn't nobody fix that but the son of God who showed up on the scene and had compassion on his friends and he fixed the situation by raising Lazarus from the dead and the people began to glorify God because again that was something that only God could fix and I want you to know tonight that God knows all about it. He knows all about your situation. He knows what you have gone through. But he wants you to believe. If you would yet believe that God can do it. I'm here to declare to you that God can turn your situation around. Hallelujah. I declare also that your situation is right. Just right for a miracle. Again, Jesus told Mary. Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God. I want you to know tonight that the Lord loves you. Hallelujah. I love you. I'm praying for you. And until we meet again, keep believing and keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who 
was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.